your own, you made your own community. You made your own world and it was thriving. We had black businesses like you would not believe. Uh, you know the st uh, story, uh, our funeral homes, cab services, hotels, black people did it all. It was not just one experience here in San Antonio. We did everything. And we weren't just on the east side either. You know that there were, there were uh, African Americans living on the west side as well. So if you're really going to look at San Antonio, the African American here in this community, you can't just look one place. And at that time, whenever you would apply for a job for the city, if you were black, or with the San Antonio School District, they would ask you, have you seen Mr. Bellinger? And you have to go by and see Mr. Bellinger to get his approval before you were hired for the city or for uh, the school district. And he was a very powerful man. Uh, but we kind of take a sense of pride because we, we kind of know some of the things that, that, that actually went, went on. Uh, those were just some of the few, Langston Hughes, uh, Thurgood Marshall, uh, Mary, Mary McLeod Bethune visited the church on a regular basis. Uh, she would go to the Carver and come over here on su Sunday and speak. Uh, and, and so she, she was here, she came to St. Paul on a regular basis. And fast forward into current time, um, we even had uh, John Connolly to come here. Uh, we had Jesse Jackson, he was running for president. He made a stop here at St. Paul. Knowing your history and realizing that we have accomplished a great deal. And part of what has made San Antonio great uh, is what we have contributed to that. Whether or not it's citizens of a city or a state or of a country or a nation, to always strive to be contributing to humanity.